October 7th. First uh, news from the 7th. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, gotta remember those chord changes. Oh, it goes to D chord. Had a lot of fun this week messing around in uh, double drop D tuning, obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but partly because of the lesson that I worked on this week, uh, one of these days, Neil Young, and it, it, it just brought back uh, such cool memories of all of his other, well, maybe not all of them, I forgot. <clears throat> what else is up there that I didn't just run through in the medley? The Old Laughing Lady, um, the ones from Deja Vu, anyway. So I uh, had a lot of fun putting that song together. It really just popped into my head uh, a week or so ago when I was listening to stuff in the car. And it came in and I thought, wow, really unusual sounds of those chords. And it's because I could hear this A chord with the D ringing in it, which meant we had double drop D tuning. And, um, and then, <clears throat> like I mentioned in the lesson, it's, the, uh, it's one of the few songs that he does in double drop D, not in a key kind of related to D. So I hope you had a chance to check out, check out the tune. Um, some unusual chord fingerings, and of course we go into all the theory of what this chord really is because of the odd notes that are in it. Not that that matters even too much, but it's a useful thing to know. Um, which brings me to... I'm going to get right to my tip of the week. Because this... back into straight drop D because um, uh, this is a good place to experiment with improvising with improvising melodies using different scales and um, what I'm doing here is I'm, I just played a D major scale up based in fifth position starting on D on the seventh fret of the G string and of course our major scale up there, what, 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 where I'm going here in a minute, is to pick a mode or just did right there was used four different modes, four different D modes, to improvise a little melody. And the modes were the major scale, the Ionian mode, which would go, and, and I'm always going to go down and use a note below, so the D is not the lowest note I play. Of D to C sharp, half step lower, sixth fret, up to E on the fifth fret of the seventh, second string, F sharp, seventh fret, G, natural, eighth fret, then to A, on the fifth fret, B. If I want to stay in C in D major, I'm going to use C sharp and up to the high D. And all I was trying to do there was keep a little D droning in the bass, just so I have the um, the idea of a chord. So you could even just hit the D in the bass one time. Okay, so I just messed, made up a little melody, all in D major, going from D to C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. I didn't go past the B, I don't think, in that. But I could have gone up to the D.
Now, if you're a kind of an accomplished finger picker and you could keep a steady bass going and improvise with this scale, we'd have something more. But you don't even have to be able to do that yet. As long as you just hit the D, you can even do this with a pick. Hit the D in the bass. One, two, three, four, one. So I just let that D roam, almost like bagpipes, except then I was using a whole major scale to make up a melody. Um, now, if I want to alter that scale, where I'm really going with this is, this is a lesson in modes. If I want to change the mode by one note, instead of having the, the half step between seven and eight in the scale, which is what our major scale has, I'm going to move the half step back to six and seven, which is going to change my C sharp in this scale to C natural. So now if I just kind of improvise with that while I keep a D going in the bass, definitely has a different tone than here's that same thing done with the major scale. with the Mixolydian. And what I was doing there was emphasizing the C natural in the scale instead of the uh, C sharp. Well, if I want to move one, note, mode, one mode further, aside from flatting the seventh, I'm going to now flat the third. Instead of F sharp, I'm going to use F natural. Sounds kind of minor, right? Except for that note, there's a B natural in there. Let me go back to alternating bass. That is the Dorian mode, which in the case of the D is no sharps and flats. D dropping down to C, D, E, F, G, A, B natural, C, D. Now I can change that one more time by bringing the B down to B flat. It's minor. Here's my whole minor scale. My Dorian scale. My Mixolydian scale. Major scale. Messing around with the different modes of D, keeping a low D in the bass, can you can be your own like accompanist and um, and your own uh, lead lead player and stuff. So I'm gonna mess around a little bit here, mixing modes. See if you can tell which one I'm in. Those two notes, this one makes it sound major, and this one if you hear this that's the half step at 7 to 8, which means I'm in major this is Mixolydian Mixolydian, can't talk and play at the same time
looking at Dorian. Anyway, um, quick little, um, I guess, a little treatise, tiny treatise, on the four most important modes, Ionian, major, Mixolydian, Dorian, and minor, Aeolian. Okay, that's it for the October tune-up on modes. I'll be back next week.